So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on, on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an overpowered meta 200k team for you guys to use in FIFA 21. It really, really is an overpowered squad builder. But with that being said, guys, if you haven't seen the last, the latest episode on the RTG, I'm going to leave a link to that video down in the description below. So make sure you guys check out the last episode on the road to glory. But with that being said, enough of the chit chat. Let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the the squad builder baby let's get it let's go okay guys so straight into the squad builder we go as you guys can see for the formation we do have the 4-3-3 the third variation but that is just to get everyone on full chemistry at the end of the video i'll show you guys what formation to switch to in game but with that being said guys no, 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 no time for time wasting. Let's just get straight into it. So in the left wing spot, we do have an overpowered player. He goes by the name of Yannick Carrasco and it is indeed his first in form. I think this card is absolutely fantastic. It's pacey. It's got fantastic agility as well. But what I like most about Carrasco is his finishing. His finishing is exceptional in this FIFA, especially his two in forms that he does have. I um, mean, shot power is ridiculous as well. That is something I noticed when using this card. He's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot, an abundance of pace, 93 speed sprint speed 92 acceleration he's also got 85 finishing and 89 shot power as well like i said his shot power is absolutely ridiculous great agility the only thing he lacks he lacks is that balance but he's got good ball control and good dribbling as well but overall i think yannick carrasco is a fantastic card and i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up and for the right wing position we do have another special card another Le uh, la liga player and he goes by the name of kubo and it is indeed his road to the final card i think this is a very very good cheap sweaty card to use man and it's in a cheap team like this i think you definitely want to be looking at using this card i think it's a, fan, a fantastic cheap card to use and he's got fantastic agility and balance and that is like that is just so good because um you know the, the best players in the game they do have fantastic dude they do have fantastic agility they do have great balance and um yeah, I think Kubo's a good, uh, cheap, sweaty card to use. He's, he's pace. He's got 97 acceleration. He's got 82 sprint speed, 82 finishing, 95 agility, 92 balance, 93 dribbling, and 89 ball control. It's absolutely fantastic. And then he does have four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot as well. I highly, highly recommend that you guys go ahead go ahead and pick up Kubo. I think he, I think he can do a great job um, from that right-hand side. But to complete the attacking trio in the striker position, we do have the Portuguese Magnifico. No, I'm joking it's not Bruno Fernandes but it's a, Port it's a Portuguese baller and he goes by the name of Jao Felix man Jao Felix is incredible and it is indeed his normal goal card if you guys have been watching the road to glory man you guys will know that normal Jao Felix is incredible go ahead and check out the foot champions highlights on the road to glory as well I'll leave a link to that down in the description all right go ahead and check that out Jao Felix he's an absolute baller on the RTG account I've actually got his red in form um his in form is absolutely ridiculous I'm guessing a lot of you may might even have his player of the month which is absolutely ridiculous as well but um yeah i think just jao felix as a player in this game any card you use is absolutely fantastic man he's got five star skill moves four star weak foot great agility great balance in game um good dribbling ball control like he outperforms like what his stats actually says on paper like he performs so much better than what the stats actually do say it's absolutely ridiculous but i think jao felix definitely hands down is one of the best cheap cards to get and definitely a meta card to get in fifa 21 so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up jao felix he's an incredible player but with that being said we're gonna move on in towards the midfield and in in the central center mid position guys we do have um a cam but you guys obviously and we actually know yeah we have a center forward but you want to convert him to a cam so he does get full chemistry and uh, he goes by the name of anton griezmann a fantastic player in the game in my opinion someone that you don't actually see too much in fifa 
I guess maybe some people don't class him as like a meta meta card but I think he's a great card to use in FIFA man I think his finishing is ridiculous his agility balance ball control and dribbling and composure are all fantastic and that left foot of his is absolutely ridiculous it's so overpowered and finesse shots with Anton Griezmann in and around the box is just ridiculously overpowered more than likely if he shoots it's going to hit the back of the net because he really really is a clinical attacker in the game and uh, with that being said he's got 89 attacking positioning 88 finishing as well and uh, 81 shot power but I actually really do like using Griezmann he's a nice little fun card to use you know I mean all the tryhards and all the sweats in FIFA I guess they don't really like to use Anton Griezmann um but I think he's a very um good card to use in FIFA in my opinion so yeah I recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up and we're gonna move on in towards the left CDM position and this is a new release card and I really really like the uh, the look of this card and it also has the potential to upgrade as well which is absolutely fantastic and the chance of him upgrading is very very high because the league he plays in is very very easy and he plays for the best team in that league he goes by the name of Rafinha um this card is absolutely fantastic it is actually his headliners card um yeah I really really do like Rafinha in this game um I think he's in form I don't like his goal card but I think his inform is pretty decent. Like his, his, his inform shows that he's got potential in this game. But this headliner is where it's at. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The headliner is absolutely fantastic. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot. All right. He's very, very well rounded. But what I like about him, he's got fantastic agility, balance, dribbling, ball control, and composure. He's good going forward. As you guys can see, he's got good finishing, good long shots, good shot power, a decent amount of pace. And also, he's very good defensively as well. So, just a good, well rounded card to use with great passing, dribbling, shooting. Um, yeah it's ridiculous and imagine that this card has the potential to upgrade as well so if he does get an upgrade and psg do um go on a winning streak then obviously he's going to get an upgrade his card's going to get boosted and it's going to be even better so i think this card is absolutely fantastic and i just really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get yourselves a headline as rafinha but moving on in towards the cdm position as well on the right hand side we do have frankie de Jong. again another midfielder that i highly rate in this game again another midfielder another cdm that we do have in a team that is very 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 good on the ball and that's going to improve, improve your gameplay a lot because cdms that are good on the ball just makes link up play so much more easier man it really really does you know you can move the ball quicker you can dribble better um it's, it's just so much better having midfielders are actually good on the ball um you know both midfielders are very agile both midfielders aren't stiff um so yeah i think Dion is a very very good midfielder to use great dribbling as we know already good passing um and good defending so yeah man pick up frankie Dion. he's actually also got four star skill moves as well just like rafinha which is absolutely insane it really really is so yeah make sure you guys go in and get um frankie Dion. he's a, a good player to use and i really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but with that being said ladies and gentlemen boys and girls moving on in towards the left back position we do have yet another headliners card and he goes by the name of jordan amavi i think last week we had a foot birthdays card but um yeah i think this card is very very nice it's well rounded and this card could actually play center midfield i'm not gonna lie to you guys this card really really could play center midfield in the cdm spot um but yeah as a left back he's not too bad at all i know he's not as pace as you might want him to be but all you have to do man get get like a catalyst chemistry style get a shadow chemistry style and that pace will um definitely increase um a lot more but as you can see he's got 83 sprint speed 84 acceleration five star weak foot as well um a decent dribbling agility and ball control very very good defensively as well as you guys can see he's got 87 interceptions 82 defensive awareness and 85 standing tackle but i think overall i think he can get a good job done on that left hand side i think he can just get the basics done just just do what he needs to do to be honest for you guys so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and get him and then in the right back spot we do have um jesus navas um a fantastic card to use in my opinion a cheap beast um he, he really is rock solid man he's got he's good on the ball he's got fantastic agility dribbling ball control all that good stuff he's got four star skill moves he's good defensively he's got the pace about him the only thing he lacks is the strength but honestly in game it's not something that i noticed too much like he's still goes strong in the challenge like he still tackles very very well i mean it, maybe he might get barged off the ball a couple times but it's not really something that i noticed when using this jesus navas card so honestly the strength stat like yeah you think it's a major major weakness but it's not something you actually notice too much when you actually go in game and use this card so um yeah i'd recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up jesus navas he is a great card to use and yeah we're gonna move on go we're gonna move on though and uh in towards the two at center uh center back positions we do have uh in the right center back spot diego carlos the beast himself honestly diego carlos 
is just incredible i like him a lot i think his normal gold card is fantastic and again another card that we do have on the road to glory account like i said if you haven't seen the rtg rags to riches so far then go ahead and check out the playlist if you haven't or just click the link down below in the description but um yeah uh diego carlos is a fantastic card i think he's a good uh good cheap beast to use man and again in a cheap 200k team like this i think you want to be using a card like diego carlos because he doesn't cost much at all and he really really does get the job done as you can see defensively he's very very solid got good strength aggression um, a good tackling stats and in game it feels even better as well and he's also got that pace about him so yeah no complaints from me when it comes to using Diego Carlos he's absolutely fantastic but to partner up with Diego Carlos we do have another Brazilian player um, in the in the back line um, he goes by the name of Marquinhos um, a decent card not too bad in my opinion I remember using him at the very 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 start of FIFA 21 literally when it first came out he was a good card I liked him um, haven't used him recently though but he is very very good at defending I guess he doesn't have as much pace as you might want him to but again with a chemistry style just like a you know what they say man slap a shadow on him and bang they improve a lot but yeah literally with a shadow chemistry style his pace increases a lot more and in terms of defending like tackling intercepting and stuff he's already good at that so yeah man Marquinhos is a very very solid center back to use and I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up and then to complete this incredible 200k team guys in the goalkeeper position we do have the one and only the man himself the cheap beast um Neto man I just think Neto gets the job done he's a very very good uh starter goalkeeper to have in FIFA or a good a good cheap goalkeeper to have in FIFA he just he just gets the job done to be honest with you guys he, he's, he's not in that top tier bracket but he definitely is just in that like cheap overpowered bracket so yeah I recommend that you guys go ahead and get him but as you guys can see this is the insane 200k hybrid squad builder but you guys might be thinking why is it only 88 chemistry that's literally only because Greed hasn't been converted to a center mid once you convert him to a center mid you're going to have full chemistry but with that being said guys before we do wrap up the video the formation that you guys want to switch to in game is indeed the 4 2 3 1 um formation this formation does work well i like it a lot again i've i've, I've uploaded um tactic videos on the 4 2 a tactic video on the 4 2 3 1 formation so if you haven't seen that already um again we don't we, we discussed that on the rtg account i'll leave a link to that down in the description below if you want to see some overpowered um 4 2 3 1 custom tactics but yeah this is how you guys want to set up in game as felix up top uh, Griezmann and Cam, Cube on the right, Carrasco on the left, Rafinha and De Jong as the two CDM. So let me know what you guys think of this insane 200k team down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys do please do check out the Road to Glory Manners gameplay on it um and it's just a very very good interactive series so yeah make sure you guys do check that out um remember if you want me to build your squad follow the steps as well and if you did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe turn on post turn on post notifications and until next time peace